Hello, my loves. Thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you in really good spirits. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be me just kind of testing new makeup, uh, first impressions type of video. I haven't really figured out what I'm going to put, but that's pretty much the gist of the video. And I struggled with if I should come with you barefaced or if I should just come with you with the final look. So I just said, forget it. I'll just do the final look. I guess it's kind of a spoiler alert, but you already see it in the thumbnail. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let me go ahead and tell you what I'm going to be testing out and using, and then I'll get into the makeup. All right, so I will be using this IT foundation. This is the Confidence in a Foundation foundation. Had to try this out because it had a lot of ingredients that piqued my interest. Now this one is not a new one. This one is new to me, and this is the Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter. So I got that one. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, and uh, it's the Full Wear Concealer. Here's another Makeup Revolution product, and this is a topper. And I'm also trying out the Wet n Wild Slim Eyeliner. Tried this out. Also the Essence I Got This Rock Look Eyeshadow Palette. And also I wanted to test out this shade. Now I've tested out this moisturizer, this illuminating moisturizer before, but not in this shade. And this shade is in Nude Glow. So I'm going to be testing out that. And I also have the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. And I'm going to be trying that out. And I think that that I have I think that's pretty much it it's not complete full face but I do have quite a few products that you may be interested in so I thought why not get on camera and just kind of apply this let me know down in the comments what you think you all are so awesome at providing excellent feedback and comments and things like that and I love you for it so let's get into the makeup let's go ahead and get started with the first product and the first thing that I'm going to use is the glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer uh, this one is in nude glow and here it is right here so since it says it's a moisturizer I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over my skin and I can tell you right now that this smells so good it smells like um, like a some type of I don't want to say cotton candy but some type of candy it smells like that all right so now that I have that applied I'm gonna go in with this Let's see, what do I have? This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil. Um, and this is it. It looks like this. And it has a spoolie on one side. The pencil is kind of angled like a narrow triangle. I guess that's the best way that I could describe it to you. And as you all can see, my face is so shiny from that that moisturizer. But this is going on pretty good and it's it's rather dark. I don't like my brows dark. Um, not this dark. So um, we'll just see. But it appears to be going on really well. And I actually like this. I just don't like the shade. And I'm trying to see what color this is. Okay, so this is medium brown. And for me, that's just, it's too dark. Um, so, but outside of that, I love it. I think that it goes on really well. So let's go ahead and put that down. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brows up. I don't have, I do have a concealer that I wanna use during that I want to test out and but I'm not going to use this yet I'm going to you know put on my foundation and things like that and use that later um, but to clean up my brows I'm just going to use what is this this is just a wet and wild concealer so I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my brows with this and I actually like this concealer. I know it's really popular on the YT. I've said it before, I think Wet n Wild has some really, really great products. And it's like, I can really see how dark the uh, brows are or this deep brown is. Now that I'm putting this concealer on, it's just the contrast is a little bit too much. I'm not sure how it's picking up on film, but in person, it's, it's too much. All right, and so now that I have that 
that concealer all on, I'm just going to use my Milani powder to go ahead and set that concealer. All right, and now that I have it all set, I'm going to try this Essence I Got This Rock Look Palette. This is it. This is what it looks like. This is what the packaging looks like. So here are the shades. And, and I'm gonna start off with this beige color for my brow bone highlight. And I bought a Essence palette some time ago, but I never did use it. Um, I swatched it and I wasn't all that impressed with it. So, um, yeah, that's that. So this, this uh, brow bone highlight is showing up really white on my skin tone, as you can see. So I'm hoping I don't have to reach into another palette. I'm going to try and put this shade in my upper crease area and see what happens. The um, shades are coming off a bit um, lighter on me than they're showing up in the pan. And there is a bit of a uh, kick up, as you can see, in the pan and it's falling down right there. But that's nothing to really, that's never been anything to really bother me. But let me just go ahead and add this shade. And on my skin tone, it's just coming off as a really light peach color. And I really want something darker to put in the crease. So it looks like they have a black in here, but I don't know if that's really gonna work. All right, so let me see, which shade am I gonna go in with next? Ugh. I hate to pull another palette, but I'm gonna have to because that's not, that's not working. <laughs> I need another palette with a darker shade, with a deeper shade for my crease. So I'm just going to use this, uh, what is this? The Color Rain Cheers to the Beauty Palette. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here in my crease. And I am using the same brush, which it really doesn't matter since the first, the shade that I just used was on the lighter side. So I'm just going to blend that out. And Colored Rain does have some really, really pretty shadows, you all. All right, so now that I have that shade down, I'm gonna use this black in the outer V. Now, it appears to be really pigmented and going on pretty good, as you all can see. And I'm just going to bring it down along my lower lash line a little bit. All right, so I've got that blown out and you can see the black, but it really is kind of toned down. So I'm gonna use green, all right? Even though I don't feel as though I look the best in green, I'm gonna use this green eyeshadow and then um, on the inner part of the eye, and then on the outer part of the eye, I'm gonna use this uh, deeper green. So I'm gonna find me a short uh, shader brush to use, I know I have one. So I don't know if I'm going to have to wet this or not, but I'm going to use my Delium Tools. I can see. This is my Delium Tools Flat Eye Definer Brush. And it looks like this. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this and see how it applies without any help. See what it can do and it appears to be doing well. And I'm going to bring it up above my crease and I hope that you all can see what I see. This is a really pretty color, wow. And I'm gonna do the other side. All right, so I'm gonna use my finger just to see if it'll go on a little bit more opaque. And it appears as though it does, but I, I think that it goes on just as well with the brush, but I'm just going to add more on both sides. And then next, again, I'm gonna use this green up here. And I'm just gonna put that right there. And it does have some little uh, sparkly things in it. Looks like glitter and that appears to still be on the brush. I mean, it appears to still be on my eye and not falling out. 
So I do like that. It's really pretty. Oh, I like this. I don't know if you all can see how pretty that, it looks sparkly. And it could be just because I'm directly up under the lights and I can see everything. Now I'm going to go back in with the green and you know, get that line out. I don't like to see the lines. So let's get that line out. So it'll be a smooth transition. All right, and for my inner eye highlight, I think I'm gonna use this shade right here. This is really pretty. And I'm not gonna wet my brush or anything. I just wanna see what it will do on its own. And it's really pretty, it's doing a lot. <laughs> Super pretty. All right, and then on my lower lash line, I'm gonna use this copper shade right here. I'm actually surprised at how well these eyeshadows are performing. I didn't really expect this much. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. I'm gonna add my eyeliner and my mascara on after I get my complexion on. But for the foundation, I picked up the IT Confidence in a Foundation, and this is All Day Confidence Long Wear Weightless Full Coverage. It has a velvet matte finish, and it says that it's oil free, which is good, and for all skin types. And um, the shade that I picked up is 425 Rich Natural, and it's an N, and I believe that that stands for neutral. And Typically, I have a lot of olive undertones, so I think that I look better with a neutral shade. But it also says that it's infused with peptides, hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acid, squalane, please correct me if I'm wrong, and ceramides, C-E-R-A-M-I-D-E-S. I know I butchered that. So this is the bottle right here. And the foundation is relatively, it's on the um, thick side. So that's one thing that if you don't like thick foundations, um, <laughs> you might want to shy away from this one. But I'm gonna use two pumps. Since it is so thick, I'm going to use a brush, but I'm trying to figure out. Now you all know, whoever watches me regularly, you know that uh, I really like the Sephora 56 brush. That's my favorite brush to apply foundation with. Now I also like this little BH Cosmetics brush as well. Um, the bristles aren't as long and the bristles are packed tighter. So I tend to like to use this brush for thicker foundations. So I think I'm gonna use this brush. So let me go ahead and apply this. And I don't, I don't really smell anything. It is very thick, you all. I don't necessarily know how I feel about that. So it doesn't appear to be drying down too fast. And I really don't know about the shade, if I got the right shade or not. I tell you, foundation shades, trying to get the right shade is always a struggle. All right, so I think this foundation said full coverage. I don't know if it's full coverage. Is this full coverage? Yeah, this foundation says full coverage. And I have dark spots right here that you can still see. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, a little bit right there. Where else? What else do I have? I think that's the only thing else. So I'm gonna let that kind of sit there for a second. And just to kind of give you all an idea of how it feels, I'm not gonna say that it feels light, but I'm not gonna say that it feels heavy either. It just kind of, I can tell that I have something on my face. I don't know if it's the brush that I use, uh, if I should have <laughs> used my other brush. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I just feel it on my face. And I don't really know how I feel about that. But what I do like about it is that it doesn't smell. I do like the ingredients. I just don't like how thick it is. So anyway, with that being said, after I added the little, the extra foundation on my dark spots, it appears to have covered that up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into contouring. And I'm just gonna use this Maybelline Super Stay stick, foundation stick. And I'm gonna just kinda contour here and bring it here, here and bring it down there. So 
So the next new item that I want to try is the, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And this is it right here. The shade that I have is in 400. And this color looks pink. <laughs> so who knows what I'm going to be looking like in the end. The next step up, I think, what, 425? It looked like it was going to be my shade. So I didn't think that I would be that I would be able to do much of a highlight with that. So I'm going to work with what I have and I'm just going to use a little sponge. But I'm thinking that this color is is wrong from what I can see. And if you all are seeing something else, let me know what you see. <laughs> so I like the way that it's blending out. I have to say that. And it appears to be playing well with the other products. All right, so I have everything applied and actually that concealer is really rather nice. Um, I didn't think it was gonna turn out as nice. And now I'm going to lightly set my face. I don't want to go in too heavy because again, this is a matte velvet type of uh, foundation, but I'm just going to use my Milk Blur and Set powder. All right, now that I have that set, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer. And if you all haven't tried this out, you've got to try it out. This is a really pretty, really pretty shade. I think it works really well for my skin tone. And I'm just going to kind of warm up my face just a little bit more. As if I haven't done it enough with the <laughs> with the contour. I'm gonna go ahead and use a eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner. And this is it right here. And just to tell you, it does have a flexible tip and, and as you can see, you can, um, it does have a lot of pre precision to it. So I'm not sure, I hope this dries down matte. I'm not sure, I'll, tell, I'll be able to tell in a second. Okay, so I think it went on pretty well. I just hope that it dries down matte. It seems like most uh, eyeliners like this dry down kind of with a satin finish, but I really do like it, especially for the price. It was just a couple dollars. All right, and I know what I forgot to do. <laughs> and I know you all are probably looking at me crazy, like, what are you doing, girl? You didn't set your, I put the, pot when I set my foundation, I put it everywhere, but I didn't set my under eye. But I'm just gonna go back in with this Milani powder and I'm going to just add a little bit of powder under my eyes, just a little bit, not much. Just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna go back in with that eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna put this shade on my lower lash line. And I'm using a, a just a smudger brush to kind of get this shade on. And on the outer V, I'm gonna do the black again. And be careful when you're using this palette because it just has so much fallout. So the mascara that I'm gonna be testing out that I haven't used is the Bare Minerals Lash domination mascara okay and this is it this is just a sample that i got that i have not used and even though i'm going to put lashes on i'm still going to apply a generous coat of this mascara and there isn't a smell it does have uh the fine type of uh wand and the bristles are short. And I tend to like those better because you don't really get that, uh, those little spider lashes where it's all clumped up and thick and looking weird. All right, so I'm done. And I actually like this mascara. 
All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna use is a highlighter and it's, it's a jelly highlighter. And I don't know how this is going to act with my whole entire look. I don't even know if it's going to mess up my look, but this is the jelly highlighter and this is in the shade prestige by makeup revolution and i think the packaging is so cute and i'm sure you all have seen it before it's just this jelly formula so i'm just going to put it right here and yeah. <laughs> and it's very it's on the for it, for it to be called jelly it's on the thick tacky side See, it, do, it doesn't even, I guess if I shake it hard enough, but it doesn't move, but it is thick. So I think what I'm going to do is, I don't know if I should just be brave and just slather it on or what, or what but I don't want to mess up my makeup. I don't want to. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm gonna put my big girl panties on and I'm gonna warm it up on my hand right here. So it does look pretty. That is a pretty shade. I'm not going to even lie. Okay, so I'm going to warm it up. And I'm just going to put it here. And see what happens. And I got some all the way down there. And I don't really see anything happening. I don't know if I'm not putting enough or what. But it... It doesn't appear to be wiping off the foundation. My foundation is definitely not coming off, I don't think. I don't think from what I can see. I don't even know if you can see anything. I can't tell if it's wiping off my foundation. I hope not. The lights are so bright. All right, I'm gonna pat it in. I'm gonna pat it in right here. And I think I should have thought twice before I bought this jelly foundation. I don't know, but I've always wanted to try it. I don't know if I've messed my foundation up. Probably have. <laughs> now let's go in with the, the lips. The lip product that I have is another makeup revolution product. But anyway, the packaging on this is so cute. As you all know, I know you all have seen it on the YT a million times. And this shade is, what is it? What color is this? Um, Luxurious? And it's just a topper. And it looks like it has gold flecks in it. And it's really pretty. And I'm wondering if I should try this with a matte lipstick. I think I'm gonna try it with a matte lipstick. All right, so I'm gonna try this uh, shade. This is the NYX, what is this? This is the NYX Liquid Suede in Brooklyn Thorn. All right. And I'm going to try this one and see what happens. And because um, this is a light color and this is a dark color, I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand and apply it. I'm going to apply it with a brush because I don't want my topper to turn into a brown color or whatever color this is. And I guess I'll just, I don't know if I should apply it on the inner part. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but it just kind of looks like it adds some little gold flecks to it. I can see it here, but I'm not sure if it's translating on camera. This just appears to be a good product for probably a lip gloss to be worn alone and not necessarily uh, good for a lip topper. So the last thing that I have are these Ardell Faux Minks and this is in 811. I'm going to put those on. All right, so that's pretty much it. This completes the look. Overall, I'm pretty happy with everything. I was a little bit nervous with the foundation when I first applied it, only because it was on the thicker side. I think that all the products that I used played very well together. I was especially shocked at how well this um, jelly highlighter played. Um, 
this is it. I think it looks pretty. Um, if it doesn't, <laughs> let me know down in the comments. And I really like this eyeliner. I like how slim it is. And I also like that for the most part of it, it does have like a, a matte finish. As far as this lip topper, I would just consider this a lip gloss and not necessarily a topper. But overall, I like it. As far as this Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara, I really do like it. I like the wand and I like how short the hairs are the, um, on the brush. They're not, they're thin and they're relatively on the short side. So I think that it adds a really good volume and I would definitely buy a full size of this. I do like this concealer. I actually thought when I applied it that it was a little bit too pink and that it would leave me looking ashy, but actually I, I think that it looks okay with my skin tone. I think that it plays, it played very well with the foundation and I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I already talked about the foundation. I like it. Uh, what else did I use? Oh yes, the eyeshadow palette. I'm actually shocked at how well this eyeshadow um, applied. Uh, let me just go ahead and swatch a few more for you um, just so you can kind of get an idea. I'll swatch it right here. And I'm not the best swatcher in the world. That's not anything that I have mastered. Those are the shades. I really like it. And again, it's a nice mirror. I just had to take the plastic off of it. What else did I try? Oh yeah. So as far as this Glam Glow Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizer, I think that it did provide some luminosity because this foundation was supposed to be a velvet matte. And I feel as though it definitely didn't dry down to a matte foundation. So I think that this did provide some luminosity. Um, as far as a glow, I don't, I don't necessarily, maybe it did. You can tell me what you think. Um, I really do like the way this smells. Let me know what you all think with the look down below in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.